Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Friday, so we're back with another five weekly favorites, and we have a lot of good things yes. this week. Um, so first, we have some Target finds. Yeah. Oh, I didn't bring mine out here, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, we actually just got these at Target, and they're by a new day, and it's just like a simple like faux leather sunglass case holder. But I've had one of these in my purse forever, but just the Lispex brand, and my sunglasses aren't even, I don't even think they are Lispex brand. Yeah. I had just had that case from like another pair of sunglasses, and I liked how like slim this style of case is, and it's like easy to open. It's just like you just push on these and it goes like that. Um, but I never really liked the look of it. And then I saw that these were on Target for $8, yeah. which is really cheap. So we both picked up the black and it's kind of like a pebbled faux leather. And it's just really basic, but I find that it's hard to find like simple cases mm -hmm. like this. And, and only it's, $8. Yeah, especially at such an affordable price. So this is perfect for putting like your sunglasses in your purse and you don't want them to get scratched. So love this. Okay, another affordable find is the foundation I'm wearing today. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. And I know in our Get Ready With Me, Carly and I were both saying like we don't have any foundation. Yeah. And so I was like, I need to expand my foundations and then also wear the ones I have. So I've been trying to like rotate through them a little bit more. So I've been trying to rotate through them um, and I wanted to try some more drugstore ones like I said. So I picked up this because I've heard Jen Phelps rave about it and I don't have a serum foundation in my collection and it was on sale on Amazon for only $6. So I got the shade Nude Beige 35. It's a little bit too deep for me but I feel like I was able to make it work by bringing it down my neck a little bit and it, as we go into the fall and I'm wearing more like long sleeves I feel like you won't be able to tell the difference between my face and my chest. But I really, really like this. I feel like it's an unexpected type of consistency for me. I guess maybe because I don't really have any serum mm -hmm. foundations. But it's really, really liquidy. So I just put it on the back of my hand and then I dotted it on my face. Applied it with a brush because I felt like a sponge would like pick, like soak up too much of the product. So I applied it with the brush and a little goes a long way. It's really, really emollient. So I feel like you don't really need that much product because if you over apply, you'll end up like trying to brush it away. If you know what I mean, like if you over apply and you're just like buffing it in with your brush, try to get it to like go somewhere, but you only have so much face. So definitely don't over apply. Start with like a little bit of product and build up if you need to, but I feel like this gives a really nice light coverage. I feel like even maybe medium, like borderline on medium, I feel like it covered really, really well. Um, although I don't really have any blemishes right now, but definitely of like full light coverage. And I just really think this looks really skin-like. Hopefully you can tell how it looks on camera. Um, like powder laid well over top of it. I used the cream bronzer over top and that worked really well. But I do think that this is more for dry skin. If you have oily skin or even normal skin, you might find this a little bit too dewy. But I also want to specify that this is not greasy at all. I feel like a lot of dewy foundations can lean very greasy or get very greasy very quickly, mm -hmm. especially maybe like those thicker consistency ones. This one I feel like is very skin-like, but it does have like that natural radiance and a little bit of glow to it. So if you have oily skin, I think this is going to be a little bit too glowy for you. But really, really beautiful, especially if you have dry skin. And I just think it looks like skin, which is kind of, I think the whole point of this age perfect line, it's meant for more mature skin type. So, you know, it doesn't really settle into lines. It just kind of blends like seamlessly into the skin, which is always what I'm looking for. So I really enjoy this. And I like the two packaging. It's really cute. I like the little gold cap. And then it just has like this really small nozzle on the end. So very easy to apply. Um, so for a drugstore foundation, I'm really impressed. And I feel like I've heard good things, so I'm glad I finally tried it. Okay, next up is a bralette favorite, and we picked these up from Target. Again, I think they were only like $7. Like $7, yeah. Yeah, and I got the green, and Britta got the black, but I really want like the tan color too. Yeah, me too. Um, and they're the brand Cosette. It's like, no, Col Colsey. Oh, Colsey. <laughs> Why do not think Colsette? Is that another brand they have? No, I don't think so. Colsey. Like C-O-L-S-I-E. Weird yeah. name. Um, it's like their like, loungewear pajama brand. Okay. Well, they're really stretchy. They're just like this stretchy material and they're so comfortable. I've been wearing it like when we're just like watching movies, just like at home. Mm -hmm. It's just so, so comfortable. I'm I like, think honestly, you could even, really shocked. Yeah. I think you could even wear this mm -hmm. as a top if you were like 
petals. Yeah, you probably You know, can. I feel like if you're like into that, I always envy the girls that wear like cute little bralettes with like a blazer. I could never. I know, it looks but so cute on other people. I just don't like, I wouldn't feel comfortable. Yeah, but maybe one day I'll do it. Yeah. I just don't think today's the It does day. look really cute on people. But you could do that. Well, with the black whole, one. That whole trend. This one looks a bit like pajama-ish. Yeah, the that's black true. One. The black one looks more sleek. And it, I don't know if you know this, but mm -hmm. that it's dual like, or what, dual sided? Like you can wear this in the front. Oh, I guess that makes they sense. They said that you could wear like the scoop neck, but I prefer the V-neck. Yeah, I like the V-neck too. Yeah, it's just really comfortable and I'm just shocked because it was only $7. Like I want more for sure. Like I have bralettes from Everlane that I really like and just like wearing around the house. And those were more expensive and I even got those on sale. And this yeah. is like just as comfortable. So. Yeah, it feels like really good quality for mm -hmm. the price. Okay, and then I have a book favorite because I'm a reader now. <laughs> um, this one is called The Highland Fling by Megan Quinn. And apologies, I don't have a good read because Britta won't let me. Well, okay. We have this like okay. whole misunderstanding. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you guys know the hack, but yeah. we don't because we're not tech savvy. Basically, Goodreads like was connected to our Amazon somehow my Goodreads account. She so then she never connected it, but how would it have gotten connected? Does anyone know how this works? Curly. Okay, go we on. know that people, but that just happens. I don't know. She Out says that world. she opened up her Kindle and her Goodreads was just <laughs> on it. It was. It was on in there. So then I told you guys I had to return my Kindle because of the glitching that was happening. So then when Carly got hers, she opened it and my Goodreads was on hers. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want her to like start reading a book and then have it track in and just mess up my whole reading challenge. So, so she made me take it off of my Kindle. No, and I disconnected it from Goodreads. But then when I get my I also Kindle, took it off my Kindle. Oh, you told me you couldn't. Or I've like signed out or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now I'm just like, can I sign up and <laughs> log in somehow to my Goodreads and have it not connected to our Amazon account? Well, and if we you don't... logged out, then you should be able to log well, in. Well, we don't know the answer to that because yeah. somehow the Goodreads is connected to Amazon. Well, I disconnected it, but I'm going to reconnect when I get my Kindle and then I worry it's going to pop up on your thing. Yeah, so we're really confused. And I'm honestly going to lose track, though, of all the books that I'm going to read. Well, Donna had the I nice like... tip of keeping track in a journal. You could do that. Okay, maybe I'll journal it or um, just talk about them frequently here so you yeah. guys can get but them. But I haven't talked about my past few books because they weren't they were kind of duds. Okay, so maybe if I just mention the positive ones here, yeah. then I'll remember which yeah, ones exactly. I liked. Mm -hmm. It'll be our own little good reads, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so it's The Highland Fling by Megan Quinn and I think this author has like some pretty popular books mm. but I've just been trying to like download the ones that are free on Kindle Unlimited so this was a free option um, and it was really cute at first I you know I read it coming off of Verity which is like now my all-time favorite book I, <laughs> I loved it so much so at first I was like oh this isn't like as quick and like fast paced as Verity because Verity starts off very hot. Yeah. But I actually ended up really liking the story. It's like kind of like a rom-com. Would you say rom-com is like a book genre? So I usually say that, but I think the proper term is chiclet. Or like rom But isn't that outdated? Or isn't like, that an outdated yeah, term? Maybe like a romance? No, but... I usually say rom-com. Because okay. that's like the vibe. Yeah, I'm going to say rom-com. Mm -hmm. Like I can picture this being a movie besides some of the steamy like romance parts. Yeah. I was like, well, this is like really in, in detail. But I'm good for her. She's a good author. Um, but it's a romance. It's kind of like a two, two like double romance. But basically there's these two girls and they're best friends. They live in Los Angeles and they're both like tipsy one night and they're not happy with their lives. And they decide to apply for this ad they saw, which I, they never really described how they saw this ad. I think mm. it was on Facebook. Weird. Really weird. But this like old couple that lives in Scotland was like going to go on a long-term vacation for like six months and needed two people, preferably like Americans or someone from another country. Like strangers? Yes, to run their mm. cafe, like their coffee shop in Scotland. And so this girl applies and they like become accepted and the other girl like isn't really happy. She like lost her job. She like broke up with her boyfriend. She's like the protagonist of the story. Um, so they go and they both end up falling in love and shocker. Yeah. Um, I won't like spoil it, although it's pretty predictable. Like as soon as you like hear about the man in the story, you're like, oh, of course this is going to be yeah. her like love interest. Um, but he's kind of like a grumpy guy. And so I like the whole story of like that he was like really against like even meeting them. And I don't know, it was a really cute story and it ended up 
really lingering with me like days after I was like thinking about the characters I'm like you know what? I really like that book yeah so highly recommend if you're in like in the mood for just like a romance I don't know what we're calling this rom-com rom a rom-com read that like I actually read pretty quickly and I miss it like I miss the characters so yeah. I feel like it'll do a, a sequel. good read yeah Okay, last up is a candle favorite. So we're filming our fall favorites today, actually, but this one didn't really fit into the fall favorite, so we're putting it here. But it's our favorite Veluspa candle, for yes. sure. It's the Veluspa Branch Vermeil. Is that how you would say that, it? I think that's how we say it, but I don't know if that's right. Okay, you, will you let us know? You guys usually know how to pronounce things better than we do. But it says Silver Cypress, Cedar, and Pine Needle, and this is just, like, a true, like, wintery piney scent don't you think but also with like it. a hint of like sweetness would you say yeah maybe okay the tin i don't love yeah they changed is the, this the tin used off? to be the tin used to be oval oh when you i know bought what? it years ago and i bet that they'd make it like this insert so that they can use the same and then they just like oh that's these. a good idea yeah that, um yeah that's true it's so good it's like very pine forward yeah but there's like i don't know a little bit of sweetness to it yeah, maybe. We've been buying this candle for years. Yes. And it's it always hard really to find. Even. You can see it's a three wicker. It burns really even. It's really hard to find. Like Harley said, we used to get it at Nordstrom. Yeah. They stopped selling it at Nordstrom. They stopped selling it at Anthro. Like so three years ago, four years ago, Nordstrom, they had it in store. Like we'd yes. buy the tin. It used to be like this round tin. And then they only had it at Anthro, so we'd buy it at Anthro. Yeah. And now neither store carries it, so we got it at the Candle Delirium. Yes. In Los Angeles. But... If you can find it, it's oh, one of our faves. It's so good. And it's pretty affordable. I feel like this size was, it's 12 ounces. And yeah. maybe it was about like $20 or yeah. something. Between $20 and $30. So pretty affordable for how much candle you get. Um, and it's really good for winter. The hot throw is amazing. Definitely our favorite Veluspa candle. Mm -hmm. That's everything, right? Yeah. Okay, well, we had a good week this week. I hope yeah. you guys had a good week as well. And we'll see you next week.